Good afternoon, this is Phil Himes, Director of Golf from McGuire's Resort. Today we're going to go over chipping and pitching. Last month we did putting, so the difference is going to be the loft of the club. More of the pitching will have a, a pitching wedge or a sand wedge will be your pitching. Eight, nine, seven iron will be chipping. And you'll see the difference here in a few minutes of what the difference is. The first thing you're going to do is take your stance. You're going to be about 90 degrees left of my target. The target will be the pin over there. My club face will always be at my target. Stance, knees nice and relaxed. Hands are going to be a little forward. You take it back. Make sure you follow through. Okay? This will be pitchy. I'm getting the ball in the air. Hands a little forward. Take it back and follow through. Okay? The difference is with the chipping, same stance, same grip. I'm going to get the ball on the green just like you do a putt. I want to keep the ball nice and low on the ground. So I'm just going to take the club back. And through. It's going to run like a putt. Same exact thing. Back and through. Make sure you follow through. The farther you go back with the pitch and away from the green is now I take my same stance but instead of having the hands forward I'm going to drop the hands back. It's going to loft the club up because I need to get the ball over this rough. Uh, over this rough. So take it back. The ball gets in the air a little bit. Same swing back, same stance. Just deal off the hands this way. Instead of here, like you are closer to the green, drop the hand back. And you get the ball in the air. So if you work on those two fundamentals, hands forward, and open your stance a little bit, those putts like we did the last time, those little four or five footers, will become easier for you. So we'll see you next month on the driving range.